What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another HTB video and I know some of you guys are surprised HTB where's the high energy and stuff like that well at the time of me currently recording this video it is 2 45 in the morning and my girlfriend is sleeping in the other room so I'm trying my best to be as quiet as possible I know at the end of the day I'm probably gonna see something in the news here that's gonna have me freaking out and yelling but for the most part I want to try to be quiet so you guys are gonna be watching more of an HTB video with a touch of ASMR I'm very sorry about that, but welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen, and like you guys saw in the title, man, NBA 2K22 Season 5 is coming out later this week, and the courtside report is right here in my hands. Once again, big shout out to NBA 2K for giving me early access to this courtside report so I can get the video ready for you guys at 2.45 in the morning, so make sure you leave a like and a subscribe so my girlfriend won't kill me. But anyways, we're gonna jump right into it. And the first thing I'm seeing is an image of Kevin Durant. Season five, Power Within is looking like it's gonna be the theme. It's here and it's time you discovered your true potential. Fight alongside Kevin Durant, Rui Hachimura, my twin, y'all know, and Paolo Banchero to unleash your strength in pursuit of success and new rewards. Now, Paolo Banchero, I'm assuming, is gonna be one of the new cards in my team. I actually gotta check if he's on the database and his name is not popping up. So Paolo Banchero is gonna be one of the two new cards that we already know for my team. Will they reveal the second one? We're here to find out. Now, one thing I gotta say is reading season five, Power Within, kind of gives me the vibe of the Age of Heroes from season four of 2K21 last year, if you guys remember with the My Team, with the whole card art superheroes and stuff like that. Kind of getting that vibe with this one, but we're gonna scroll right down. And I, I was correct. I honestly have not looked at this yet, so this is my first time seeing it all. And that card art goes crazy. NBA 2K22 Season 5, Power Within, and that looks to be Japanese writing. I believe that's in Japanese. I could be wrong, correct me. Can you feel it? Beneath the surface, a legendary power lies dormant, waiting to be unleashed as a new day dawns with the arrival of Season 5, Power Within, victory, and a trove of rewards await you. Now, I'm assuming they're talking about more my career stuff here. Two-time champion Kevin Durant, first round pick Rui Hachimura, shout out my twin, and 2K. If I scroll down, I better see a Galaxy Opal or Dark Matter Rui, or we're gonna have a problem. But we're gonna skip over the my career stuff here and jump right into my team. All new my team updates. Season five, Power Within will be another historic season in my team with more brand new players and the conclusion of our two 250K tournaments in My Team Unlimited. My Team Season 5 will also feature the return of dynamic rating cards. Interesting. The reason I say that's very interesting is because we currently have heat checks in the game, which essentially were meant to replace dynamic ratings when they first went from dynamic ratings to heat checks. It was like, I think it was the transition of 2K18 to 2K19. So seeing dynamic rating cards again, how is that gonna affect the price of heat checks? Because if it is gonna be dynamic ratings from 2K16, these cards are gonna be able to change gem tiers. And if that comes along with Hall of Fame badges and stuff like that, then it's gonna be worth it. Because heat check changes attributes. If dynamic ratings also change badges, then this will end up being a dub. But there's gonna be a new domination. There's gonna be new coaches. So just like last year, we're probably gonna see a Galaxy Opal coach. An anime themed mural to complete. So this is basically gonna be like Age of Heroes from last. I literally just called that anime theme though. I know you anime heads out there are super excited reading that. And the first 99 overall dark matter reward for reaching level 40. Let's get into it. Power up with dynamic ratings. I'm seeing domination reward there. Looks like Paul Millsap is gonna be the domination reward. Honestly, not too hot on the card. I don't think he's gonna be a bad card by any means. He was actually a pretty solid card last year with that glitch token market season, and he was a bucket. The thing is, there's cards like Thurl Bailey, Anthony Davis, and Giannis onto the Kumpo out there. So unless they really bless this card with some kind of animation, not too sure what very many people are gonna be going for it, but hey, Free content is free content at the end of the day. Dynamic ratings are back. Season five brings the final base set of NBA 2K22's My Team featuring all 30 current NBA teams, which means over 400 new player cards. Now I'm assuming we're gonna get to see the 3300 collector level Dark Matter card as well with 400 new ones because I'm currently at 3200 cards collected. So that's almost gonna take me pretty close to Dirk. 
you can expect these cards ratings to fluctuate as each player's real life performance permanently affects their my team cards and that basically sounds like heat check cards to me expand your collector level with this new release by opening league and premium packs in the market then compete against the entire set in the new dynamic ratings domination tier to earn players from each team jump into all 99 stars and get the galaxy opal paul Millsap. it doesn't sound like you need any of the previous dominations to get this one so that's going to be a big dub and i'm assuming that right there is going to be our level 40 award Dark Matter Ray Allen. I'm not too sure how to feel about this. Like, it's gonna be a good card, but it's really gonna come down to the animations. And with the way 2K has been balancing animations this year, I'm not too sure Ray Allen's gonna be worth it because the only way he honestly ends up being worth it is if he's got a quick dribble style. Because aside from that, he's gonna be a catch and shoot shooter and a defender at the most. And that's exactly what Klay Thompson is doing now, except Klay Thompson can dribble. The thing is, Ray Allen is probably gonna be a bit more athletic the 6'5 guard with impeccable scoring and handling skills. Handling skills. That makes me think they actually might make his dribble style either quick or shifty. And it was undeniable. So they're talking about the card right now. Milwaukee Bucks, seven seasons, level 40, dark matter. Ray Allen used one of the greatest shooters of all time from his early days as a buck. Another dark matter arrives over the course of three unique events this season a new event card mural will be assembled in my team so i'm assuming the three unique events are going to be a dark matter possible dark matter rui hachimura a dark matter kevin durant and the paolo guy that we saw earlier now each event will be crowned with an anime themed galaxy opal reward player i love the whole anime theme vibe i hope it makes me really look at the card and go Nani. But anyways, while completing the Imposing Figures mural will earn a high-flying dark matter to your collection, that sounds like Vince Carter to me. Be on the lookout for these events because they will only be available during Season 5. And now we get to the NBA 75. Please tell me we will finally be able to lock these sets in because these have been around since like October, man. The NBA released its list of the 75 greatest players of all time this year to commemorate 75 years of professional basketball. Many players their flowers. As a result, 75th anniversary set, six My Team collections. We know about this and the tier. If you'd like to know more, don't need to see that. We're completing, we're finally completing the NBA 75 team set, guys, over the course of three weeks. So this is going to be done in the first three weeks of season five. Oh, so now they're starting to push it. Beginning Tuesday, March 1st, the 2000s and 2010 set will be the first collections completed. And then they'll do the 80s and 90s and then 60s and 70s last. There were some noteworthy players who were not included on the list, but you can make sure they get their shine by voting on who will be selected as the Dark Matter card. So this is going back to what my team said earlier in the year. We're going to get to pick who is going to be the lock-in for the card. I'm assuming there's a couple options. Hopefully they're good ones. Your time to vote starts now. Head over to the official My Team Twitter to choose your picks for the first two collections. Will the 2010 collection complete reward shoot the lights out? Oh, Clay Thompson! Clay Thompson, Dark Matter is a possibility. Defend everyone on the court with Draymond Green is another possibility. Zion Williamson and Joel Embiid. So for the 2010 set, and I'm assuming as I talk about this right now, people are probably going to go buy a bunch of the 2010s cards and prices are about to inflate because we get to choose as a community whether it's going to be Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, Zion Williamson, or Joel Embiid. Now, community, listen to me. Look me right in the eyes and let's have a conversation. I know you guys like Zion. I know you young folks like Zion. Do not choose Zion. Have you seen Zion's jumper? Have you seen a lot of these cards jumpers? The best decision right here is either going to be Klay Thompson or Joel Embiid. And honestly, as hype as Klay Thompson is, he's got a really good Galaxy Opal card already and it really can't get much better than that. So we really need to collectively vote on a Joel Embiid card. A Dark Matter Joel Embiid is likely gonna be nuts. Draymond Green is gonna be 6'7 at the end of the day and we're already getting a Galaxy Opal Paul Millsap. And I know so many of you guys want to vote for Zion. But before you vote for Zion, go pick up his card in my team Hop in freestyle, try out that jumper, and if you like it, vote for him. And if you vote for him, you're absolutely nuts. Everybody, hashtag vote for Joel Embiid. We're starting that right now. So if the votes start now, 
will this first set be available next week? Because if so, all these 2010 cards are about to go up in price like crazy. It's the community's choice. Check back Friday for the results. Get the new card on Tuesday and then vote again for next week's rewards the following Wednesday and Thursday. So we might be able to vote starting tomorrow. My team could already have the votes up as the video is being made or as the blog has already gone up. Up next, we got the historic coaches. Are you ready for your lineup to be led by some of the greatest NBA coaches of all time? On Friday, new historic coach cards will be added to my team packs. So on the bright side, it looks like we won't have to play a bunch of domination for them. Add Hall of Famers like Don Nelson, Rick Delman, Jerry Sloan, Lenny Wilkins, Larry Brown, and more. There will also be a new Phil Jackson coach card. Just like last year, y'all remember how cheesy he was, plus 10 to three, it was nuts. Along with historic versions of Doc Rivers, Mike D'Antoni, Eric Spolstra, and Ty Lu. I'm assuming all these guys are gonna be diamond coaches. And of course, rated as a Galaxy Opal, the soon to be all time winningest coach in the NBA, Greg Popovich. Probably gonna be insane defensive stats, but I like more offensive coaches, so I'm probably gonna be looking at that Phil Jackson and maybe even that Tyron Lue. Enjoy fresh My Team Rewards, Paolo Banchero. So that's what he looks like. Wait, I know, yeah, he's from Duke. Okay, so is he not in the NBA? Each season brings brand new rewards and in season five, two new players making their debut. For the first time ever at level one, you'll earn a current collegiate star. So he's in Duke right now. He's not actually in the NBA. I knew his face looked familiar. I don't watch much college basketball, so please don't judge me, but he's getting a 95 overall free agent card. At just 19 years old, okay, his stats, don't care too much, gonna be honest. The promising forward has a bright career ahead of him in my team. Banchero might be the future, but you better believe we aren't sleeping on former stars like Galaxy Opal, Cincinnati? How do you say that? Cincinnati Powell. Okay, so um, I know some of you guys in the comments, when 2K said they were gonna introduce two new players, some of you guys were hyping yourselves up, and you thought it was gonna be Reggie Miller and Charles Barkley. I can't wait to see how you guys react when you wake up and see that Paolo Banchero and Cincinnati Powell here are the two new cards. Now I looked him up, and he is in fact a six foot seven small forward. Now y'all saw what they did with Kazi Russell this season, He's gonna end up being one of the best cards in the game, mainly because nobody knows him. That's how OP 2K be doing these cards before the NBA merger. They're gonna talk about him a little bit, his stats, and he's gonna be the unlimited reward card. He actually might be worth grinding for because anytime 2K makes a no-name player souped up, you know they're gonna be gods. The Banchero and Powell rewards will be accompanied by other player cards like Galaxy Opal Richard Hamilton from the draft. Uh, now 2K, y'all know I got a lot of love for you. And the draft mode being introduced this year, I gotta be honest, Richard Hamilton's not a bad card by any means, and a couple people are probably gonna play for him, and again, I haven't seen the stats, so I'm not gonna assume that he's gonna be terrible, but what 2K needs to do moving forward with cards in the new modes, like the draft mode, you want people to play it, you gotta put players that have hype names. Richard Hamilton is simply just not gonna do it for a lot of people. And then they've got a Sidney Moncrief in the exchange, Sean Kemp on the clutch time wheel. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, these aren't as hype rewards in my opinion as season four. Yet again, not too many people were excited for Reggie Lewis on the wheel and they made that card a literal demigod. The only way they can make Sean Kemp an absolute god is if they change what jumper he has now to a better jumper because Sean Kemp cards have always been great. The problem is their jumpers have never been good. So maybe that'll be the case. Y'all know I show, I sh uh, tongue twister, I show Sean Kemp a lot of love in my team every single year. Then we got Boogie DeMarcus Cousins as the limited reward. Not too bad, nothing I'm too focused on to be honest because we've already got so many good budget centers in the game that I think by the time DeMarcus is available, it's gonna be a GG, especially because he's only 6'10 in the game this year versus 6'11 in previous years. You will be able to fill out a lineup of full Galaxy Open rewards during season five, plus be on the lookout for a new Moments of the month on March 8th, I'm glad they confirmed that, and more new reward additions to my team throughout the season. So one thing they did not tell us right here is, and that's the end. That's actually the end for the my team blog. 
That's a bit more vague than usual, but a couple things to say and a couple things that I've noticed. Number one, they have not told us who the clutch time reward is, like the full on clutch time. Now, after reading this blog, I did end up messaging 2K because I needed confirmation on the new season. In the last blog, they told us that all XP will be available day one. And even though they did not mention it in this blog, all XP will be available for season five as well. So if you grind it out showtime, you're gonna get that 15K XP right away. And then the other 150K is gonna be available on top of that if you were someone that completed the showdown tier. But a couple things we don't know here is who is gonna be the actual clutch time reward for 100 wins because we found out about Siakam. In this case, we don't know anything. We don't know who the TT offline card is gonna be. And we also don't know who the TT online card is gonna be. So that's a couple details that we are missing in here is there anything else we're missing oh yeah we also don't know who the token reward players are going to be so we don't know who's going to be in the galaxy opal token market is there going to be a dark matter token market i would honestly assume not especially because all these reward cards are galaxy opals and the only dark matter really is going to be that ray allen so i'd be really surprised so for those of you guys that are sitting on 3,000 tokens like i am we might be in for a bit of a wait hopefully the galaxy opal rewards are a little bit better than baron davis not that he was really that bad but he wasn't really anything crazy and as i scroll down it doesn't look like there's really anything else that would catch our attention there's the w online are you ready for another season of action in the w that's more for the women's basketball and as far as things for my career I don't think they have anything too crazy going on. Most of the blog, for the most part, actually was my team stuff, so I'm not mad about that. Do they talk about the level 40 reward for the park? Because they've actually had some decent rewards. I know some people weren't too impressed with their legend reward because it was a talking parrot or something like that, but park will do their own thing. I'm not really too worried about it. Overall, let me know in the comments though, how do you guys feel about what they've announced for my team? I am surprised about the Paul Millsap. I, mean, I don't hate it. I, it's just not a hype name, but again, he could end up being a bucket. All around though, I am super excited for season five. Not so much for the cards that are initially gonna be out like the unlimited rewards and stuff like that, because honestly, every single season people do feel let down by that, but season four all around was a dub for free content. And I hope they carry that momentum going into season five. And with this whole new, you know, murals for cards, last year with Age of Heroes, we got a bunch of free hero cards from doing agendas and stuff like that so if they do carry that over into season five it definitely could be a good thing and it definitely could be a vibe but uh that right there is gonna do it for the blog guys let me know in the comments what are you excited about what are you worried about are you looking forward to season five it really is looking like an age of heroes part two and if that's the case them card arts are gonna go crazy but uh thank you for tuning in guys i'm officially gonna go get some rest because it is now three in the morning i love you all good night or good morning or, or good afternoon i don't know Goodbye.